So my transfers, I'm going to take out Socrates. It's about time. And what she's gonna keep a clean sheet. And what she's gonna keep a clean sheet. Can you see how FPL takes the piss from? Hmm? Can you see how FPL just likes playing games saying, hey clown, oh you just take this, play this game and be a clown. <laughs> FPL, FPL, st stop playing with me. I am not the guy to be playing with. Alright? It's only gonna end one way. Me on top. FPL, FPL is making a foolery out of me. A foolery. It's making a, a, a clownery of me. Hmm? <sighs> Who's, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. Who says, Wooses. Wooses. Guys, you know, I'm happy to see all of you guys. You know, you guys make me feel a bit better. I'm happy to see all of you. Guys, welcome to another FPL video on my channel. My name is Spongedunks. Spongedunks, aka the clown, aka Tom Foolery. Smash that like if you like my content. Subscribe, guys. I know. A lot of you are new and you just watch my chat you just watch my videos and go oh, okay thanks guys please subscribe okay really helps me like be motivated to put out these videos so please subscribe so today we're gonna be we're gonna be looking at my game week eight uh, points what I got uh, who performed for me and then we're also gonna be looking at how I ranked uh, in this game week and also how I did in my league. So yeah, man, let's get into it. As you can see, I got 37 points. I mean, I'm higher than the average by one, which is not really great. But yeah, man, I can't, I think this game week was just a shocking game week. That Socrates thing really messed me up. It really messed me up. But I think that's all part of the game, really. Um, and then, okay, so, I'm sitting at 700,000 still. I was, I think I was before this, I was at 729,000 in the, in, in, in the world. So now I've moved up a bit, which is not really too bad. Yeah, I, I expected to actually drop a lot more, but at least it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, I got 37 points. Yeah, sitting on 439. So it's not too bad. So, okay, the people that performed, Ryan, got a 3 nil to Spurs. And I said, in my, if you watched my uh, preview, I said that I have I have a great feeling that Ryan is going to do something. Clean sheet, bonus, love it. Love it. Ryan is really performing. Hopefully, he can keep it up. I like the way Brighton play. They, they're really a solid team. And Spurs are on the downhill, man. So, yeah, Ryan performed for me. My whole defense didn't do anything. Otamendi, one. Van Dijk, two. Tomori, two. I, I transferred in Tomori for Socrates. Socrates was going to give me six points. But, <sighs> Usa. <laughs> Usa, Usas, Usas. But I, I like the look of Tomori. Uh, I prefer Chelsea's defense to Arsenal's. I probably should have stuck with Socrates for one more game week, but you know, hindsight. My captain. I don't know what it is with captaincies. My captain has hasn't performed for me since um, since I tried to change my captaincy things. I haven't performed at all. I hope this international break something happens, man. Something has to happen. So yeah, Salo got me two points. Um, again, one point didn't perform. It's okay. Mason the Mount. Mason the Mount got me seven points. Great from him. I can always count on Mason. Always, always, always. Sterling. See, Sterling is one person that I'm considering taking out. Um, I'm tired of him. He doesn't look 
like his his past season. Well, Man City as a whole don't look like the team from last season. So maybe I might take I might take him out and put in the Brun. That's a possible transfer that I'm really thinking. And then with that extra money, I can invest in a defender that uh, that gets attacking returns like Trent. Um, yeah, so like Trent or Robertson. Because I feel like with the defense, I'm trying to rely on clean sheets and no one's giving clean sheets. So let me try and get attacking returns. And then, so yeah, that's, that's a possible uh, option for me. And then Abraham, again, I said I had a feeling Abraham was going to score. And if you watched my other one, I said Abraham was, he, I have a feeling, just a little itch in my body that he was going to score. He scored. Don't, don't ask me why I didn't make him my captain. Don't ask me why. Kane didn't do anything. Tottenham are shocking. They're playing like shocking. Cookies is the one that everybody's annoyed with. I think he was bound to have a, a run of game weeks where he doesn't score, but I have faith that Pookie's gonna come back. Definitely, he will come back and score a lot of goals as he was doing before. I think he's just going through a patch, man. It's just a patch. But that's expected. Look at my bench. Colorfuls, just nice points. <sighs> my goodness. So Lundstrom got me five points. So my, my bench got me more than my defense, basically. So Lundstrom got me five points. Kelly with an assist got me seven points. I wish I had at least one of them on my on, in the team, but it is what it is. Then Tom got three points. Overall, not a good game week at all. In my league, I was 12th. I dropped down to 15th. It was Socrates. It was Socrates. I don't care. It was him. I can't have this be a normal thing. I need to. What I what I would want is for me to get down to uh, the five hundred thousand. Get down to that, and then from there we'll see what what we can do. But yeah, man, this was a hard game week. Uh, I think the international break it doesn't come at the right time, but. I think we all need a break from FPL. Uh, but yeah, who likes international break? No one. Yeah, so as I said before, the me taking out Otamendi and Sterling to get in the burn and someone from like someone that gets attacking returns in my defense, like Alexander Arnold. Also Van Anhalt because he's taking penalties in the absence of Milovojevic. So he could also be an uh, option. Oh, I might even take out Kane for a Bamiyang because a Bamiyang, I feel like he's on he's on better form than Kane. I think those are the only transfers that I'm thinking so far. Um, Puki, I'm gonna keep with. I know a lot of people are taking him out, but I'm gonna keep with him. Um, yeah. So I think Kane is on the chopping block. Sterling is on the chopping block. Otamendi chopping block. Yeah, so I'm not going to use my wild card yet. I don't have enough uh, transfers to make. I don't, I'm not that unhappy with my team. And I think this always happens like around this time where before the international break, it gets like people get a lot of bad points like this game week. And then people make wild cards. But the same team that you would have stuck with did better than the, the new team that you have now. So I would say if you if you're really unhappy with your team, then do a wild card. Like maybe if you have more than five transfers you want to do, then I would say get a wild card. But if you're okay and it was just a bland old game week, then stick with your team. Relax. It's gonna be okay. Alright. It's just one of those game weeks, you know, and I think they always happen. So, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be like this. Uh, since there's there's no there's international break so there's no games i'm gonna be i'll be posting on next week friday i'll be posting next week friday for the preview of the games that are coming up that game week 
yeah guys don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the content i love you all thank you for showing me some love peace love and cloud marines